Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I have some exciting updates for the Greenville private servers and um, also a news for roleplay servers. So this was in February, but they do have some more information. I guess more official information you could call it because this is not official information right here. This is just what they were thinking of adding, but they did send a message out a few minutes ago saying that there's some new updates that they're thinking of adding. Here they said, that private servers right now are 25 robux for one server and they're thinking of making them free in this message in february and in the private servers they said would become free and then uh, official greenville roleplay roleplay servers would have special features that way hosts of the server can maybe use like different commands for roleplay and there's an other option which was saying that you would have to get an invite from the server menu and it would be the same as the private servers right now they didn't say what else it would come with oh this wouldn't have so this uh, private server that's free wouldn't come with commands it's just a server that you could play in with other people and this one would come with um commands you get an invite from the server menu and same thing the custom server advanced servers would be 100 200 robux for 31 days and the owner can choose to release the server to everyone and they can do a lot of different things like weather control a server description they weren't sure about the test drive thing where people can like test drive other cars and adjusting prop car count i'm not sure why you would do that and also other cool features um you can see on the screen right here and now recently if you go down here this is more of an official list. The other one, they weren't really sure about adding the features. They were just thinking about it. So they're saying that the Roblox private servers and VIP servers in Greenville will be free. You'll have not a lot of admin commands, but you have some and you won't have a drive to earn. So you won't earn money in the servers when you drive. Yeah, you can use like the link and invite people. And then the custom server, you can invite people from the server menu like anyone. And you can just do all kinds of different things like special role plays maybe. Like if there's a role play server and someone's hosting it, maybe you can like add different things to the server. Like say you're doing construction, you can add like cones and um, stuff like that. And I'm not sure that the regular servers will not have banned cars. Uh, they're saying that the custom servers will have banned cars so that way people can use them. So... And I did see that somewhere. I'm not sure where it was though. But they're saying here you can use ban cars. Here they didn't say anything about that. So you might be able to use ban cars in custom servers. The custom servers will have more admin commands and more features that people can use. Like if you're hosting a roleplay server. So that way it's more fun for people instead of a regular server. And people are just like driving around. They don't get any money for it. So they're saying that the update won't come out for the next few updates. So because they're probably working on other cars up here, they have this um, Acura and they have a Toyota. They already have one in the game, but these are different like trims and stuff. So they kind of updated it and they also added this Mercedes G-Wagon. They've made a ton of different trims, 17 rim options. And they're also adding this Volvo here. And here are some other cars that they are adding in the update. This looks like a convertible BMW you can see here. It doesn't look like there's a window there, so it's a convertible. And I think they're adding back this new not new police car this was in the old greenville in the old greenville i thought this was an admin car and it really isn't you could just see right through it but here they're probably adding this back to greenville so yeah that was it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video so they just decided to add one car right after i was done with the video but they added this buick convertible oh yeah there is an interior and here's the picture of what it looks like i'm wondering if you can like open and close this there was something in the feature suggestions that said you can open and close the 
tops of convertibles so i think this is what they're talking about because this one doesn't have a top on it so i think probably they're probably gonna release this once they come out with that feature so we'll see this seat belt pops out when you um or comes out <laughs> when you get in the car